Hi, and welcome to a quick overview of Purdue. Purdue is the most powerful system to realize your organization's ambitions. Or, as one of our customers put it, it's a mission control center for your business. To help you realize your ambitions, Purdue covers the entire strategy execution operation. In fact, it's the only software that does so. Purdue lets you set and communicate the strategy, identify and track the most impactful OKRs and KPIs, report and review progress, a critical step for turning goals into results, help your direct reports become high performance with one-on-ones and even performance reviews if you don't have a tool for that yet, document and review learning so that each goal, irrespective of progress, is always a step forward, and evaluate performance in real time with our performance dashboards and KPI boards. Purdue is pretty much plug and play, but you can customize it, of course, to the specific needs of your organization. Here is an example of how we work with Purdue ourselves. It all starts with setting up your strategy. Your strategy isn't static, but should regularly be refined. Then you set goals, OKRs and KPIs. You need to assign leads to these goals to make sure that you distribute accountability. To turn these goals into results, we ask our employees to report and review their progress once a week. We call these weekly check-ins. Our managers have bi-weekly one-on-ones with their direct reports. Bi-weekly is sufficient for us since we already have the asynchronous weekly check-ins in Purdue. At team level, we review progress once a month. This is our monthly business review. At the end of the quarter, we close our OKRs. We may not have achieved all of our OKRs, but we always learn a ton. When closing, we document all these learnings in Purdue so that they don't go lost. Once a quarter, our leadership team is then reviewing performance for the quarter, as well as all the learnings, and we use all that information to further refine the strategy. Let's dive into the software so you can see how this works in practice. We'll now go through the software. For a deeper understanding of specific features, make sure to also watch the other product videos in this playlist. Every time you log in, you'll land on your home view. Home surface is the most important information for you as an individual user. You can see the goals that you are leading here on the My Goals tab, the teams that you're a member of and how they're performing, your direct reports, if you have any, and how they progress from week to week, and if you use Purdue also for your one-on-one -on -one meetings, then you'll be able to see the action items from these one-on-ones here as well. At the bottom, you have kudos. Kudos is a way to publicly recognize a coworker for great work, a simple yet effective tool to boost employee morale. Being a strategy execution software, most customers start with setting up their organization's strategy on the platform. You can do that by going into strategy map. With our approach to strategy, we always start with your ultimate goal. This is simply your mission and vision. By the way, you'll notice these question marks across the platform. By hovering over them, you'll get tips and best practices. In this case, we'll explain what a good ultimate goal looks like. In short, your ultimate goal defines your playing field. Which game are you playing and what does winning look like? Below your ultimate goal are your strategic pillars. These are your how to win choices. How will your organization differentiate itself from competitors and how will you tackle the key challenges towards your ultimate goal? For example, big ambitions typically require the best team to realize. To retract and retain all that talent will have to be a great place to work. Once you have such a strategic pillar set up, you can align KPIs and OKRs to it. KPIs and OKRs are different types of goals. KPIs are designed to monitor your business as usual, everything that you do to keep the engine running. OKRs are designed to drive your business forward, like a roadmap toward a desired point in the future. Aligning KPIs to your strategy helps ensure that your KPIs are also strategically relevant, and it's a great way to monitor the success of your strategic pillars. To make sure that we are and remain a great place to work, we are monitoring employee happiness, which we measure via an EMPS, Employer MPS survey. So that's the first KPI that you see here. When I click on a KPI, it opens the KPI model where you'll find all its details. 
We measure EMPS via a simple Google form that we send out at the beginning of a quarter. In this case, that Google form is integrated with Purdue and it's automatically updating progress for this KPI. Here in, the, here in the middle and bottom swim lane, you'll find our OKRs. At Purdue, we set annual OKRs at company level and quarterly OKRs at team level. You can change this, of course. In fact, you can fully customize what you want your strategy map to look like. To learn how, watch our other video called Customizing Strategy Map. We are currently looking at our OKRs for 2024 and Q4 2024, but you can, of course, also look at OKRs of past or future timeframes. When we click on one of the OKRs, it opens the OKR model. Here you see the logic that we follow. The objective tells you where to go. In this case, provide the optimum demo experience. The key results, which you recognize by the blue chart icon, are all the results that you need to achieve to get to your objective. And the initiatives, recognizable by the green checkmark icon, are all the projects and tasks that people work on to achieve the key results. By clicking on a key result or initiative, that takes you to its details. On the right hand side, you always find all the different settings and options. Here, you can also set up integrations with Asana, Jira or Power BI, for example. When you have many OKRs set up, you can apply filters, for example, to look only at the OKRs of your team and how they fit into the bigger picture. But you can also use filters to quickly see everything that's at risk. When you click on Teams in the left sidebar, you can browse all the teams within your Purdue account. You can nest teams to reflect your org structure on Purdue. We have a customer success department with a customer support team underneath. And our sales team is split up in two regions, EMEA and North America. Clicking on a team shows you all the goals, both KPIs and OKRs, that that team is or has been working on. By the way, if you don't want to track KPIs for a team, you can simply edit the team and disable KPIs for them. If you click on users, you can browse all the employees of your organization and see what they are working on. Purdue is more than just a goal tracking software. We'll also help you turn goals into results. After more than a decade of experimenting with features to boost goal attainment, we learned that there's really only one thing that will help you achieve more goals, regularly reporting and reviewing progress. Progress reporting is a built-in process that you can customize to the specific needs of your organization. You can do that by going into configure and then to progress reporting. You'll see that you can customize this at user level and at team level. At Purdue, we ask our employees to report their progress once a week. So we have the frequency set to weekly. This is our weekly check-in. Two days before, at 8 a.m., everyone will receive a reminder. We also ask our people to write a brief review of their week. We ask, what did you work on? What will you focus on next? And do you have any blockers or observations? These questions you can change. And if you don't want to work with reviews, you can also just toggle it off. At team level, we have the frequency set to monthly. This is our monthly business review. We also ask our team leads to write a review for their team. We ask, what are your wins and observations? And what are the challenges that you are facing? Once everyone has reported their progress and written their reviews, you will get this email for your direct reports. You can see when they checked in, their pulse, if that's a feature that you have enabled. And if you click Review Progress Report, then that will take you to the corresponding progress report in Purdue, where you can see all the details. This is Nick Fisher, Head of Sales, and Nick reports to me. In this report, I can see his review for week 43. And further down, I can see for each goal, what was progress and status at the start of the week, and what was it at the end of the week. When context has been added, that will also be visible here. If I have a follow-up question, I can easily start a thread. I always let people know that I reviewed their progress report by leaving a comment on the report itself. 
if there's anything that I believe I should discuss with Nick in our next one-on-one, -on -one, I can also immediately convert it to a talking point for our agenda. For my teams, I also receive an overview by email. The progress reports for teams are similar. At the top, you'll see the review, and further down, you can see for each goal what was progress for that month. Progress reports are simple but super powerful way to turn goals into results. Progress reports aren't the only reports that we offer in Purdue. If you go into all goals, then you can build your own custom reports from here. There are three different tabs, objectives, key results and initiatives, and KPIs. You can filter by many different attributes, such as progress, owner, or alignment. You can customize which columns you wish to display, and then you can save your report for quick access in the future. Each report has a dedicated URL so you can easily share it internally. You can also export the report to a CSV. Purdue also has dashboards, which you can access by going here into dashboards. We have an engagement dashboard, which shows you the engagement within your account and the health of your OKR and strategy execution program. You can see this info for the entire organization or zoom in on a specific team or department. Each time frame has its own dashboard. On the engagement dashboard, you can see, for example, if all the objectives have key results, if all the OKRs are aligned, and if all the teams have set OKRs for the selected quarter. You can see if people, if employees are submitting their reviews and if they are keeping their goals up to date. If anyone is falling behind, you can easily nudge them from here. This dashboard makes it a breeze to run your OKR program and to maintain a strong adoption. We also have a performance dashboard, which allows you to evaluate the overall performance of a specific quarter or year. Again, you can look at the entire organization or zoom in on a specific team. And each quarter or year has its own dashboard. On the performance dashboard, you can see, for example, progress over time for your OKRs. You can see OKRs by status. Everything is clickable, so if you want to know which OKR needs attention, click on it, and then you can see what is the OKR and who is leading it. Further down is a leaderboard, so you can compare the performance of all the different teams. If these dashboards aren't sufficient, you can also build your own custom dashboards. You can build as many as you like. When you edit the dashboard, you can easily add new widgets. You can reorder and resize these widgets. You can add text widgets, for example, if you want to feature your company values on here. And you can also feature custom reports on here. For example, I have a custom report set up that always shows me all the active OKRs that are currently at risk. I can now add a widget so that I can always easily see how many OKRs are currently at risk. When I click this widget, it opens the corresponding report in a new tab. I also have my one-on-one -on -one meeting set up on Purdue. It's an easy way to keep track of talking points, action items, you can assign due dates to these action items, you can capture notes of the things that you discuss, these notes can be shared or made private. Produce services relevant context here on the right, such as the goals that that person is working on and their progress reports. If you're using Google, you can integrate your one-on-one -on -one meetings with Google Calendar. A similar integration for Outlook is on our product roadmap. If you're looking to customize your Purdue account or set up integrations, go into Configure. Here you can set up many integrations such as SSO, Slack, Teams, Power BI, etc. That's all for now. If you have any questions, simply use the in-app chat. Click the chat icon bottom right. Our medium response time is less than 20 minutes.